Greetings, greetings. Thank you so much, my beautiful family. I've been away for some time. It is because of your prayers and God's hand upon my life that I'm still standing. Your prayers are not in vain. When we pray, we don't see anything happening, but something is happening in the realm of the spirit that carries us through trouble and trials. Hallelujah. So I'm here to say thank you to all of you for carrying me through this difficult time. I know that many of you are still carrying me through your prayers. I want to say thank you. God bless you. This is not over yet. The pain is so deep and I know that even in pain, God has a plan and a purpose. He remains Alpha and Omega. He is the only one who is God. Hallelujah. Who is Jehovah? The beginning and the end. Our beginning is in God's hands and our end is in God's hands. And God is everything in the middle. I'm still standing today because God is still on the throne. Hallelujah. And he continues to be good. He will be good today. He was good yesterday. He will continue to be good tomorrow. No matter what comes our way, we're still standing. God continues to be God. Hallelujah. The only true living God. What God starts, he will finish. He's unquestionable. He's reliable. He's dependable. No matter how much pain we go through. So whatever you are going through today, just be confident in the God you save. In this first video, after a long time of not posting and showing up, I'm still going through a lot. But with God on my side, I know that I'll come out of this on top. Thank you again for everything you're doing. So what is the difference here between you trusting God and God trusting you? When God trusts man, you and I, when God decides to trust you, it's not all the time that he can trust us, but he's trustworthy. He cannot change. He is all that. He is everything. He's Yahweh. And he decides to trust us. You can choose today to trust God. You can say, I am going to trust God because everything is going well. I am going to trust God because I feel God has done too much for me to be untrustworthy. I'm going to trust God because I've seen him before and he will do it again today. That is a choice that you can make today to trust God. That is another level and it depends on you to make that choice. Remember, God has given us the will. When everything else is going well, it is easy to choose to trust God. It is easy also to say, I make a decision, even if I'm going through so much, I'm going to trust God because I've seen him in my life doing great and mighty things. I've seen him doing great things in someone else's life. You can make such a decision and that is trusting God. It is your choice. You can choose to say, I'm not going to trust God because I've not seen anything yet. I've been praying, I've been fasting and things are going the wrong way. But there are times that God chooses to trust man. Hallelujah. And that's the difference. It is a huge honor and it is a place of safety, a place of feeling secure. Hallelujah. When God chooses to trust you and God has trusted you many times and you thought you had to trust him. God trusted you in that situation to go through it, to come out on top. And you thought you were doing the trusting when God was trusting you. When God trusts you, he cannot change his mind. He says, I'll be with you throughout this fire. I'll be with you until I take you to the other side. And that's what God is doing right now. He has trusted you because that pain is too much. Because what you are going through is too much. It means that God has now trusted you, that you are able to come out. You are able to go through it and you won't back off. You won't start blaming God, blaming everyone else. You won't lose your faith because you are going through so much. God has trusted you. And where is that coming from? It comes from when things are fine. You staying in God's presence. The things you do today are build-ups for your tomorrow. When the situation arises and it's too much, the pain is too much, you are going to emerge on top. You will rise like an ego. You can be in it, you can be walking through the valley of the shadow of death and you say, I won't fear. I am not going to be afraid of this. No matter how painful it is, no matter how I've lost, no matter how it seems like everything has crumbled over my life, God trusts me to go through it. And you can see the difference. The other side is so much honor. It's like God honoring you. And this is what we see in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 8 to 16. When my husband passed on, the first pastor who called me gave me this word. 
He said Isaiah 41 and verse 8 to 16. That's your word. This word came at the midnight hour. Okay, my situation was already midnight. It was already dark. But I know that there are many who have gone through this dark moment and they emerged on top and they did not give up and they did not start blaming God. Who am I to start blaming God? Who am I to start questioning so much? Answers that I'm not going to get. I'm not the first one. God has seen many through. And what I did well was to sit down with tears in my eyes and not knowing what to do and sat down with this word and said, you are the same God who helped so and so and so to come out. I started remembering the stories of other women who lost their husbands very young and went to be with the Lord. They went through it. They were strengthened before. That's the difference. When God trusts you, it's not like the situation comes and bam, and God is so shocked. God was not shocked I was going through this. God was not shocked that it happened. He saw it already. And the reason that it was allowed, it is because he knew that I was able to go through it. My children were able to go through it. Hallelujah. God trusts you so much. In this word, Isaiah 41 verse 8 to 16, I want you to sit with this word. This word says, God won't leave us. He won't forsake us. It means he has gone ahead of us preparing everything. He is way ahead of you right now. The things you are doing now, praying, fasting, reading the word of God, that is preparation. When that situation arises, even if it will be fire, God will be in that fire. Jesus will be the fourth man in that fire. Even if it will be so deep like a valley, you will come out. Hallelujah. You will rise to the top. God goes ahead of us. He goes, prepares the way. He comes back and he starts to hold your hand and he says it is well. He says, you come out of this. I am your comforter. I won't forsake you. Do not fear. Do not fear. I'm going to handle this. I won't leave you. I won't forsake you. The things I've started in your life, I'm not going to leave them in the middle. I'll make sure that I, Jehovah, who has started it, I'll make sure it is completed. I'll make sure that you go to the other side stronger. That's what God is doing right now. That's the difference between you trusting God and God trusting you. When God trusts you, he has already gone ahead of you. And going ahead of you is every day. And that's why I'm here to say, let God in in every area of your life. This is the time. This is the time when you are able to pray. There are times that you will be so confused. You will need people to raise warriors to pray for you. That time came when that happened in my life. And because God had already gone ahead of me, I saw help arising. I had help everywhere. I didn't ask for anything. When it happened, I couldn't even hold my phone because I was worried about the little one I had, the reaction. And I didn't know how to react. When that time comes, God will raise people. God will raise people like you, my family, to pray for you. That's what God did. Every help I needed, was there. Some things I didn't even ask. He knew exactly what I needed. The process, everything that I needed was prepared by God. And so you are in this situation with God as your helper. Present help in time of need. Hallelujah. His present help. My sister, my brother, I want you to let God in and let his presence invade your space. Let his presence invade your space. Anything that is allowed in your life, it means that God has trusted you enough to go through it. And everything is prepared. Whatever that situation is, will bow to the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to be confident that God is with you. And because he's with you, he has trusted you that that situation is not going to weigh you down. That situation is not going to take you out. Yes, you remain standing in the power of his might. Hallelujah. And thank you so much for your prayers, for your support in this time. I don't take that lightly. May you be blessed and be blessed abundantly in Jesus' name. Thank you so much for watching. Watch other videos that I recommend at the end of this video. Stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.